uh, for things like KDE, GNOME, some graphical application, or even games to find volunteers who want to contribute. So I need, I need ways to find people working with me. And one important thing for, thing for that is the Google Summer of Code. So I'm mentoring for open printing in the Google Summer of Code since 2008. But simply having uh, put up some projects and being a mentoring organization of, on the Google Summer of Code, this did not attract much people. I got one or two per year or so. And what? Yes, yes. So we had a sound problem on the stream. So I'm repeating. I'm doing the same again. <laughs> now. <laughs> so can you give me another two minutes in the end? <laughs> so, so in a uh, total of seven minutes. Yes, and. Now, hi, I'm speaking, I, I'm, I will talk about the Opportunity Open Source, a conference which I've organized in the, in, in the Indian Institute of Technology, Mandi, in the north of India, in the Himalaya, on the last weekend, on Friday and, set, on Friday and Saturday, su some days ago. And this conference, and, and now I want to tell you what the motivation was, why I, I'm, uh, uh, running, why I have run a conference at that place, there, up, up there in Mandi, which is a rather remote location. So, so I'm the leader of the open printing project. So I'm responsible for, for printing, working in, in Linux and any other similar, typically free software operating system. And, and so I'm, I'm more or less the, uh, the printing guru for everyone here. And printing, is not very attractive for volunteer contributors. It's very, very difficult to find people. It's much e easier for projects like GNOME, KDE, games, or graphical uh, desktop applications. So I need some, sp some uh, way to find more people. And so I'm mentoring on the Google Summer of Code for the So to, to, fi to, to find this way, people to uh, join the open printing community. I did it since 2008, but every year I got only one or two applications. It's not much, and if, if they even, even are not very good students, I, end, I do not end up with what I want to have. But in 2015, Avik Bazu, who lives in Kolkata and worked at Lexmark that time, he met me on an open printing summit, the annual conference which I'm running for open printing. And, and he, he and living here in India, reach, we started then to reach out to Indian universities mainly Indian Institute of Technology, all the, all the ones who are in here, not only Mandi. And this way he found more or less, uh, more or less, he got more or less 150 to 200 uh, CVs. For, uh, and from these ones, the most suitable ones, he, uh, he, he put into our selection process. This is first compiling cups, doing a slight change on cups, and learning about driverless printing and so, then in the next stage, uh, fixing, uh, fixing bugs in open printing code, 
And after that, when they are good in all this, they get, they, they get a subject for, from us. And we get, this way we, we get to five to eight contributors each year. And of these contributors, most of them, they study in the IIT Mandi. And, and as we, with this, this event, want to, wanted to meet our students in person, we, we have decided to, uh, to go to the IIT Mandi to meet our students. And not, and not only simply doing a meetup, but also to attract more people who there in the IIT Mandi who are studying there, we decide, I suggested to Avik that we should run a conference with talks, with workshops, with panels. And so this was the start of the opportunity open source, the conference which I have, which we, we have done last weekend in Mandi. And it, it needed some organization. We started the planning of the conference in early Ju June 2023. And, and, it, and we came to the idea to do this also because the DEPCONF is here in, in, in India. And so a week suggested to me, why not come to India and meet the students when, when I'm also attending the DEPCONF. And so I decided to attend here and also to, to go to Mandi. And then, we, and then I suggested to do the conference. So I had to, to, to uh, uh, coordinate the, the, my conference dates with the DEPCONF so that I can attend the DEPCONF and that, the, that, my that my conference is right before it so that I'm able to give this talk. And then one thing is when, on which weekdays should one run a, run a conference. For the students in IIT Monday, it's the best to run it on a weekend because the, on weekdays they have classes. And if they have to bunk classes for getting to the conference, not many will come. And then we have our open pointing team, Michael Sweet, Iowa McDonald, and Zdeniek Dohnal, Mike is the author of CUPS. Ira is the connection between open printing and the printer working group, a consortium of printer manufacturers and software companies uh, developing printing standards. And Zdeniek Dohnal, he's the, the maintainer for printing at, at, at Red Hat and he does a lot of upstream bug fixing on open printing. And these, they prefer to, be, to speak on a work day. They didn't travel to here. They spoke remotely from home, and therefore they, they uh, preferred a weekday. And it should also not to be too early in the morning in the US, because when here in the morning, now, the people in the US are still sleeping. It's in the middle of, of the night for them. And so we had to find the best way. And so, and so in the we started thinking about the weekend of the 9th and the 10th, the last weekend. And then we added the Friday afternoon to it for the open printing sessions. And in the end, having, uh, when we knew how many talks we would actually have, we ended up only taking the 8th and the 9th and not doing the Sunday. And then, Abik and me not, not being every day, not living or, uh, at the IIT Monday, not being every day there, we cannot organize a conference there alone because one needs someone who is at the place to get the rooms, to, uh, to, book, uh, to, get the, to, to get lecture halls, to give the talks, to, to book rooms in the guest house, 
where we can sleep and to find volunteers who do the AB and, and watching remote attendees questions, micro runners and so on. And also I organized, uh, organized our food for during the conference. It's also important that food gets ordered and so that we have something to eat through these days as one cannot simply go out into a restaurant in, in the IIT Monday. It's completely isolated from the rest of the world. So, so then I want really to say, and this was Akarshan Kapoor. He is also currently Google Summer of Code student adding uh, scanning support to Papel for to, do, to, to be able to do driverless scanning. And so I want to thank a lot uh, uh, Akashan for doing all this. And then another point is the infrastructure. A conference needs a website. And our conference needed also the possibility to speak remotely, because, especially because of the open printing people. And also we want to, to, as one does it in a modern conference, record the sessions and live stream the sessions, as we are doing on this conference. And so, so I am, and Canonical has a very nice community team. This community team has already won the Ubuntu Summit 2022 with all this. Also, they, also at Canonical we do video shows, the so-called Indabas, and therefore they have, they have this infrastructure. And so once they have given me a Canonical's Indico to get the website, with the schedules, with the call for proposals, and so on. And they have given me Canonical StreamYard, the, the system behind Ubuntu on Air, so that I can do the recording, uh, remote speaking, and streaming. And they gave me also some stuff to, uh, for, the, for, the conf for the conference, like an Ubuntu banner, like this one, but for showing Ubuntu in orange, an Ubuntu tablecloth for a swag table, and tons of swag. And they have also paid my excess baggage for bringing all the stuff to here. And, and, and also they helped me, they gave me a lot of support, they explained me things, gave me some tips, and so on. And so I want to thank, thank our, our community team at Canonical too. So in the Indico, you know, DevConf is not done with Indico, but many other conferences like Guadec, Ubuntu Summit, Linux Application Summit, and so on. This is a system for which shows a description, location, and dates of the event, track, track descriptions, yes, and I had to enter all this data, track descriptions, call for proposal with submit, submission instruction, session type examples, and the submission form, is, uh, which I have created, is simply a shameless copy of the Ubuntu Summit 2022. Then registration forms and also instructions, once for the remote attendees to find us on YouTube, or live streams on YouTube, and the remote, and the remote speakers to have a link to StreamYard so that they can appear in the virtual studio and, and give their talk. Yes, StreamYard, Ubuntu on Air. As I told, the Ubuntu, Ubuntu Summit 2022 was live streamed, had support for, for uh, remote speakers, and this is and, and also, we have the Ubuntu desktop team in Davas, which are video shows where my former colleague Heather Ellsworth was uh, interviewing uh, important people. She also, some years ago, even in, also interviewed me because of open printing. And so for this, we have a StreamYard in infrastructure. StreamYard is a service on the internet which provides a virtual studio where people log in, and so their webcam image is added to a, a, a video stream, which is live streamed, 
and the organizer, the, the director, the host, can uh, add persons, remove persons. The persons can only share screens and, and put up slides and images and videos and so. And the organizer is composing this. It's a very easy interface so that he, he can quickly switch the things uh, to fit, fit so that it can be streamed live without uh, uh, un, un, without interruptions for for switching things, and and so we could we, we had a very nice live stream. It looks much nicer and much, it's much easier to operate than Big Blue Button, which is the system what li Linux Plumbers and Guadec use. And with this, I have also already done a live a live uh, uh, a live show. And, and this system connects the video streams and makes one video stream, which we once stream live out for the remote attendees. And uh, we also project, have projected this stream. This was the projection on our screen so that the people see the slides. And, and also everything, every media which the speakers are showing. And one thing also is the, the remote attendees can type comments in the comment section of YouTube or, or Twitch. And we see the comments on StreamYard. And so we can once display the comments in the stream so that the spectators see them and then answer the questions li live speaking on the stream. And the streams come out both in YouTube and Twitch, and now, where the event is over, at, the, at these places you find the recordings under the same URLs. And then we had to, uh, to find what sessions we are, what sessions we are doing, the program, the content of the event. So, we did a call for proposals, but do not get many proposals there. So it was not so that we had a tons of proposals and have to select the best ones, as at, uh, usually at international conferences like Ubuntu Summit or, or Guadec happens. So then uh, I define, me and Avik define the main subjects and invited uh, the the speakers we needed for it. We had an open printing track where Michael Sweet and me were speaking. We had a Zephyr track. Zephyr is an op a lightweight operating system for microcontrollers for these systems where Linux is too heavy for. And there Kate Stewart, Susan Remmert, Jonas Remmert and Oliver Völkers were speaking. These are the most, the, the, my, more or less the heads of the Zephyr project, the most important people there, but no one was traveling. They were all speaking remotely. And yes, and Michael Sweet was also speaking remotely. And then we have uh, also immutable distributions. There were, I, I was speaking about Ubuntu Core Desktop and Rudra Saraswat was remotely speaking about uh, Blend OS. And Rudra is here. If someone wants to meet Rudra, he's here on this conference, on the DevConf. And then we had a work at Canonical panel, which I have hosted. And there were three Canonical people who live in India traveling to Mandi. And they were with me on the panel. And so we were talking about how it is to work at Canonical. And then we have even had even also two interactive workshops. One was getting started with the Zephyr, remotely we, we, uh, with, with Jon, by, uh, by Jonas Remmert. He talked remotely and the people in the room were doing exercises on their laptops. And we had also one person, Akashan, who knows a little bit about Zephyr too, and he has helped them on the spot. And then there was another workshop about packaging applications as snaps, which I, uh, which I did. 
And we had some challenges with it. The, the most important is the IIT Mandi is rather remote. It's in the Himalaya, and the next airports are Chandigarh, which is five hours driving, and De Delhi, which is 10 hours driving. So this can, can easily make speakers he hesitate to travel. And then this DEPCON is running closely after the mo monsoon season. The monsoon season is principally over, but the DEPCON is very close after it. And as I coupled my, my, my dates to the DEPCON so that I can t make it in one trip, I, I am also very close after the, the monsoons. And in the news we had in, in the weeks before, we had a lot of, uh, a lot of times where, where there were heavy rain, rainfalls and landslides on the roads leaving up to Mandi. And so several speakers like Udra Saraswat were afraid of traveling to there and were pre preferring to speak remotely. And also we had also take to take into account if we had actually the he still heavy rainfalls the last weekend, we even would, uh, would have considered to cancel the whole event and to rebook my flights to get directly from Kolkata to uh, Kochi instead of going to Mandi. And so, but actually the monsoons are over, so it, the probability the, the, that this cat catastrophe happens is very low, so we feel very safe that we could travel and that by my organization of, of the conference, I would not harm or even kill anyone. And so, in the, uh, on end then it was really lucky that in the end we had really excellent weather. So the trips, the, the trips by car from Delhi to Mandi and back from Mandi back to Shandiga were very nice. Very nice weather, dry, dry roads, and the roads were in very good condition, so it was very easy and no, no problem. And also the weather was very nice during the conference, sunny, one could walk on the campus without any problems. So now let us see some pictures. This was on the road trip between Delhi and uh, between Delhi and uh, Mandi, and stopping at some restaurant for dinner, I did last schedule last last changes in the schedules, taking uh, into uh, making use of that I have table for the laptop. I've I during in in the car I was also most of the time on the phone talking with uh, the Zephyr people because they st up to then still did not finalize how, how and what they are, uh, how they would give their talks and what they are talking about. And then at 2 a.m. in the morning, we arrived with our, uh, we arrived with our driver, Mandi, the IIT Mandi, the guest house. And what happened is several students stayed awake to receive me. So they stayed awake until 2, 2 a.m. To, to, for my arrival at Mandi. Probably they are all, and they told me they're talking about me, me a lot there in the IIT Mandi. I'm well known there. Perhaps I'm a little bit a celebrity for them. And so they were all there. They were even carrying all the heavy baggage into my bedroom. And they were very, they, they, they were very happy that I, I arrived and, and, we, and we meet in person. And here you see the perfect weather and the landscape. It's really in the middle of the mountains. And here you see all the swag. It's one bed in my bedroom, the other bed uh, I used for sleeping at the night. We, and you see the many notebooks, caps, stickers, 
Zephyr has also uh, uh, contributed this, these kites. And you see the banner and the tablecloth also. And this is all what I bought. And I we brought and some things like the like the kites and some some also some other swags was brought by a week. And here the tablecloth too did not make it to a table, but were, but but was used as a flag to show the entrance to the event. And here is our main uh, our main. Uh, conference room. It's a little bit more filled up like here. Here it's a little bit empty. And here you see around 100 attendees in the room, all of them eager to, to see me and Avik and to, to have, uh, and to have this conference. Here. But we had also some technical problems. The stream yard on my laptop and my, my camera, which you see there on the tripod, is a, it's a photo camera, which I use as, le, uh, as webcam with, an a, with a USB capture device. This worked all perfectly, but the sound of the room was really a problem. We could not connect simply the, the headphone output of a laptop with some input so that the laptop sound was on the speakers. This would have been the easiest, as one can could then simply take the the laptop, which was the director of of the StreamYard session, which was the which was this laptop here on the picture. Then it had been very easy, but this did not work, and so our AV guy has taken a microphone of the room and held it against a Bluetooth speaker, which was connected to the laptop. And also, the projector was a problem. It was probably rather old, and it, we have connected something like 10 laptops until we found one which actually projects via HDMI. And so we started something like an hour late because all this stuff did not work, and we could not prepare it earlier because the rooms were busy with, with classes all the time. So, Apologies when you see the, record, the recorded streams and the beginning is chaotic and the first talk not starting. Fast forward a little bit, it was our technical problems. We had to, we had to cancel two talks because of that, but otherwise it worked then. Here we have a talk, here, no, we, here we had a talk to get started with open source by Shua, Shua Khan from the Linux Foundation. She, she was speaking remotely. Here you see it was in the second, uh, in the second uh, conference room, the Zephyr track. And there was an introdu introductive talk and an interactive workshop and everything done with remote speakers. No one of the Zephyr team was traveling. And here we have the, in, the immutable distributions. Everyone talks about immutable distributions. So we should also have this as a subject on our conference. And for this, I have given a talk as I'm at Canonical, uh, working at Canonical in the desktop team. And I'm much involved in, with Snap because I have uh, made snaps of cups and of, of printer applications, of the whole printing stuff. And with this, I got a Snap enthusiast. And so, and also my, pl my next plans for the snaps uh, of cups and the printing stuff is getting them in Ubuntu Core Desk, into Ubuntu Core Desktop. So I was talking about Snap and Ubuntu uh, Core Desktop. And I had Rudra Saraswat, he unf unfortunately due to the, the uh, due, due to being afraid of, uh, of the bad weather, spoke only remotely, and he talked about Blend OS. So, and if you have questions to Blend OS, find Rudra on this conference, here on the DevConf. And then, we had on, not only coding, but 
that you can also uh, contribute for, the, for documentation, for example. So we had also sessions about documentation, like here, Dimple Kuria Kosi, she is, she is in Canonical's uh, documentation team, and she gave a talk about documentation. Then this was, was the panel about working at Canonical. I was hosting it and had three uh, Canonical employees around me. And we talked about the experience uh, at Canonical as the work, work from home pi pioneer. And uh, we talked about the, the fun we have when we're on the, on the engineering sprints, when all the Canonical employees meet in one huge hotel in one city, when they're traveling twice a year for that and also about the uh, candidate selection process because Canonical is, is already a very large company and, and so has a lot of job opening. They are currently hiring in contrary to, to other, other IT companies. And, and every, every position they offer, they offer worldwide because of the work from home. So they have many candidates and many applications. And so they have a selection process and, peop and the other people there were recently hired. So they know how they, uh, who, who, what they uh, have gone. And they have explained this also. And here, this is the SNAP workshop. I've given an interactive workshop about how to package applications as SNAP. And this work, and, and uh, the, here I've, uh, I've, the people come with their laptops and do interactively exercises on their laptop and they are, hel uh, they are helping each other and so, and I was explaining him how to do it and so, and this workshop, the idea came from the Ubuntu Summit 2022, where I organized a series of five workshops about SNAP. And this is the first of these five workshops which I've given there. And here, then the event, uh, uh, and, and once the event was over, in, in, in the end, after they have, uh, after they have apl applauded a lot, and we have uh, said thank you to everyone, the, uh, uh, the people got to the swag tables and, uh, and picked up their swag. And they were all very, very happy about this conference and liked it a lot, what we have shown. And they are eager that we will have uh, such a conference again. And here, naturally we cannot stay hungry. Naturally we cannot stay hungry uh, during these day, uh, two, two, uh, two days in Monday. And Akashan has, has, has very nicely organized that we get something nice to eat, especially in the mess of the, of the IIT Monday. There was only, only vegan here. This is in the mess. You see these prison-like uh, uh, trays. And there was only ve vegetarian food. And he has externally ordered also some chicken. And so we could add it. And so we had a more rich uh, lunch on the first day. And here we were in the, in the canteen. Uh, this is a, a little bit class up, a little bit premium economy. You see the plastic trays. <laughs> and here, our, our, our first dinner we had in the IIT Monday after the first conference day. It was in the second conference room and we have put the school benches e e e against each other to make a dinner table. <laughs> And on the right side, this was also nice. You see this simple, you, you see the, there was on the, on the uh, campus of, Man, of the IIT was some simple building which from uh, the outside looked a little bit like a house of very poor people. And there was a very nice restaurant. It was really delicious. 
So uh, Akashan really knew, uh, knew the nice spots and the ways who get to get the best for the guests to get something nice to eat. And also for this, I want to thank him a lot. And here, our group photo. And it was really an a, incredible experience, a lot of fun organizing this and actually running this last weekend. And I want also to thank to everyone who has, who has contributed to this so that we could, could really turn this re reality. And so we have completed our mission perfectly and we will come and, and we will for sure come back. Yes, anyone, any, any questions about organizing conferences or, or Google Summer of Code or, some, or, or something similar? I can take questions. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, uh, uh, how do you have reten how do you have retention of people after G-Shock? I mean, when they contribute in G-Shock, how do you uh, what makes them stay after G-Shock? Ah, uh, yes, yes. One one problem is always that many many G-Shock students they simply disappear when it's over. But we always have uh, we try to find people who stay with us once. With the onboarding process, we make them very familiar with our code, and then when we uh, when we and, and then we naturally do also a, a, a good uh, mentoring with them so that that they like their projects and like to work on it, and we involve them with upstream, for example the one who does the, GNOME, the, the printer setup tool in GNOME Control Center, we, we, uh, we involve him really with, uh, with the GNOME developers who are then supposed to accept these changes. And we try to integrate them as best as possible in, in, in our team to motivate them. But not always it, it works out, but several are staying. Not all. Unfortunately, all, only the smaller part. Especially, probably, it's also that when people are a student, they do easily also voluntary work like working on an open source project. But when they arrive at the point when they, uh, they get their first job after the course, they concentrate on this job and, and stop doing uh, any uh, voluntary uh, IT work. Any any other questions? So seems that no one has other questions. No one has liked my talk. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much.